Well, it changed my life. Uh, I knew I loved this company before, but it absolutely rejuvenated everything that I felt in regards to our mission and the work that we do. Uh, from the city of Santo Domingo where we stayed to the community that we served in Haiti, the Bonnie community, um, it, everything was incredible. And then my team on top of that, I mean, they were everything. The energy that they had and the drive that these individuals had to really make a difference in the people that we served was, I mean, breathtaking. All of Santo Domingo that I saw is incredible because of the atmosphere and the life that surrounds everything. You're driving down their new highway and it's on the sides of everything. There's really beautiful artwork and a lot of it seems random, but it's gorgeous and it's fun to look at and I think it just screams the, the attitude that is the Dominicans, which is really exciting and loud and fun. I had the opportunity to see the areas that needed help. I mean, when you're driving on the highways, you see you know, malls and really built up areas. And I saw this amazing school that had a huge airplane and castle. And so some of those things kind of surprised me. And then all of a sudden you get to this bridge that separates Santa Domingo. And if you look down on the edge of the river, you see all of these shanties just stacked on top of each other and it's almost kind of hidden until you reach this one neighborhood and then you really see the poverty and and this was all on my way to visit the orphanage uh, that is falling apart I mean it's an incredible organization the way that they've set it up it's not just a group home for these children it's a, a series of several different houses that only house four children with an auntie so that these children are growing up in a family home rather than, you know, a group home. I had a blast. Like I said, my team was incredible and they were just such excited individuals and I mean that is infectious. When you meet people who are passionate about serving and passionate about learning, it's hard to not follow suit. Fun, And then of course the recreation days and getting to see, you know, the historic part of Santa Domingo, all of that is so incredible. I mean part of the magic to that is letting people discover for their own because when you go on a trip to to anywhere like this where you're serving and making a difference in so many people's lives I mean everybody has their own experience but to let somebody know what to expect expect to feel the gratitude uh, it's more than seeing it it's more than hearing a thank you you feel it in the way that these people hug you, in the way that they look at you as you come in, in the way that they cheer for you and wave goodbye to you as you're exiting. I mean, it's, it is indescribable. It's hard to say, you'll know once you, like say anything but you'll know once you're there because that is how it is. And everybody has their own experience. I still keep in touch with a lot of our volunteers and my team members and I've asked them for their testimonies to say kind of that. and. It's hard to put to words the feelings that you get from serving and the, yeah, the experience that you have when you're serving like that. It is incredible and it is life changing because you're walking through a community that has no running water, no electricity, and I mean, other than sharing the pictures of where you're going and getting to show somebody what you're experiencing, explaining with words. I mean, it's so much more than words.